Hello everyone this is Gary from Fantastic Fundas and in this lecture uh, today I am going to talk to you about the Indian working class and how they were related to the uh, nationalist movement okay the labor in the in the industry those are the people I am talking about here and second thing I will be talking to you about the communism and one question about which lot of students are often confused that is the difference between socialism and communism so we'll talk about that also okay in but in this lecture please understand I will be giving you just a brief uh, uh, thing and uh, knowledge about the communism and socialism the meaning of these words okay because they are essentially related to the working class and I'll give you trace the whole history of the working class uh, about their involvement right and then we will after this we'll move to the uh, revolutionary nationalism part okay as was as in the earlier lecture with that we the, the one before this uh, we, we did talk about the suffragist okay and there I mentioned you that all of the whole of the Indian nationalist movement that was happening at this time it was divided many parallel things were growing on okay that is why I have to move ahead right the in fact this decade of 1920s the history has been covered like this I start from 19 approximately 22 reach up to 1930 okay then I have to come back again to 22 then take you to 30 so th th this is the second part of the series uh, of 1920 to 30 uh, history of India okay Ab karte see what happens uh, that you know, uh, second half of the 19th century, okay, that is 1850 onwards, 1850 onwards, modern industry starts in India, modern industry, modern industry has started in India. Now, uh, for example, we know this, the uh, railway has come to India and post is there and telegraph has come, okay, so such things are happening and in fact, uh, by 1870s, uh, money starts coming and by, uh, uh, there was 1881 Labor Act and Factories Act, right, there was 91, then the, there were labor law reforms and finally in 1920, we'll see the formation of All India Trade Union Congress, okay, IAIT UC. So that is the main structure of the today's lecture regarding the uh, working class, right. So how the the struggle of the working class begin okay so will the beginning of their struggle and the detail of it right now before nationalist intelligentsia way all these moderates and extremists all they all of them could associate with the working class some of the things were done by working class on their own for example uh, they were involved in the agitations strikes okay and uh, they, they how for example there were strikes by them in bombay calcutta madras surat you know ahmedabad and madras the main name place bombay calcutta madras bombay calcutta madras surat ahmedabad okay madras has been repeated and leave it right etc okay so that is how it is going on right then after this uh, there was also strike going on in, in railways okay because they wherever labor is involved and then there is strikes in plantations we we talked about plantation thing uh, later uh, earlier in one of the lectures right so all but please remember that all these movements they were sporadic they movement were not in a set pattern or under leadership they were sporadic kahi kahi kabhi kuch ho gaya kabhi kuch ho gaya something happened somewhere something happened somewhere okay now to organize the effort beginning in 1870s right to organize all the effort uh, beginning 1870s uh, all this effort money starts coming on as i said just you know uh, philanthropist uh, started coming uh, with the money at this time and uh, for example in Bombay uh, there was uh, Surabji Shapurji Surabji uh, Shapurji okay Surabji Shapurji and uh, he, he was a Bengali okay uh, though or originally right and then uh, there was Narayanji Meghaji Lokhande okay uh, Narayan let me just write the names for you people Narayanji uh, Meghaji Meghaji Lokhande. Now he was very popular in Bombay and he was a great philanthropist, contributed a lot of money. See, everyone is contributing in his, his, his or her own way to national movement. So these people bring the, bring the money, right? In fact, uh, this person, uh, Narayanji Meghaji Lokhande, he also started this, he was involved in this, you know, uh, Anglo Marathi Weekly called Dina Bandhu, Dina Bandhu. Dina Bandhu, helper of the poor, huh? right number three is uh, this is in but this is in bombay okay and something sim similarly we'll talk about bengal also in bengal uh, the the main person was a shashi pada banerji shashi pada uh, banerji and uh, he, this person uh, started a journal called uh, bharat uh, shram gb bharat shram 
GB, okay, J E E B I, right? So this basically to educate the workers about their rights. Now mainstream nationalist movement, at even to this hour, mainstream nationalist movement, they were indifferent to the uh, laborers in, uh, in India. Okay. Now main reason was that because the, the struggle was still in its infancy at that time, because the Indian uh, our own struggle was in infancy, and we did not want to weaken our own struggle by creating ranks within people. How do you create ranks? You know there is labor, there is capitalist. So because the the main leadership uh, it was still developing so there was no point of dividing people on the basis of labor and capitalist and so on and so forth right so that is why they could really could not interfere in, in the, this time right and britisher attitude was also quite different toward the indian workers right and then later on you know efforts were made to organize labor and secure for better bargaining so labor was uh, secure, right secured or uh, for better bargaining organization of labor started at this time only after the money came in right and then nationalists not they were not ready to take the question of uh, you know uh, this thing of labor uh, versus indigenous employer because ultimately lot of our own people were employing people uh, laborers so how could you go to the against these people in, uh, indigenous people and how could you go uh, in favor of, or again in favor of labor and against the indigenous employer lot of people accuse that the congress supported these uh, indigenous laborers uh, indigenous employers because they were giving money to the co congress it is true that money from indigenous employer came to congress no doubt you cannot run an organization without money but it doesn't mean that the congress was the party of these employers it had in support of masses that is the difference you have to appreciate okay now nationalists they were not ready to uh, take this question and then came after this came the uh, 1881 act and 1891 act those uh, you know uh, labor law reforms or the factory acts that came right uh, 81 there was ripon and 91 there was lansdowne right anyway so uh, m most of the newspapers in fact at that time uh, they opposed these laws okay and because the purpose of opposition was not that they were supporting indian indian laborers not that way the purpose of opposition was these laws they were supporting uh, britishers that is why uh, th this thing was created you know this thing that why britishers brought these labor reforms because they wanted to create uh, the production of the factories in india costly because they were giving good competition to the british factories that is why they wanted to do this okay and in fact a lot of people like uh, you know um, um, at that time the uh, their leader like agarkar was there and agarkar uh, he supported the cause even against indian mill owners okay Agarkar supported that ways, right? Anyway, the scene in the British enterprise was totally different, right? Now, Indian National Congress and and the newspapers, they were now and newspapers, newspaper, they were getting vocal against the uh, Indian, you know, uh, against the condition of labor. Okay, so the first, this is the first time condition of labor is being taken into account. And first of all, where it will happen, where it is worst, and where it is worst, it is in the tea plantation. That is the primary focus control where the Britishers are having. So it is there, right? And then you know the railway signalers they go on strike in 1899, and uh, then they were uh, you know Tilak's paper Maharatta and Kesri. Even uh, this is ra railway signalers going on strike. Railway signalers, signalers, and you know these uh, Maharatta and Kesri, these newspapers of Tilak they support this strike, and there were a lot of strikes actually during a uh, Swadeshi period also. If I talk to you about strikes uh, by the labourer uh, at the time of Bengal partition, right around 1905. Um, and at this time only leaders were uh, you know getting exposed to the uh, marxist ideas and the socialist ideas and the democratic ideas which were for having their force in uh, europe okay so marxist and socialist and all these ideas right and uh, the main leaders of the laborers were the bipin chandra pal and also uh, g subramaniam ayer g subramaniam ayer so these were the two main leaders of the laborers at that time but then you know uh, you know this thing that by 1908 after surat split uh, there was a downfall of the national ups and nationalism of, of the upsurge and the, because of that labor movement also suffered right because the late labor movement was now more associated with the nationalism and because nationalism was falling uh, so did was the fall of the labor movement okay nationalism is falling so there is also fall of the labor movement now 
and then then came in 1915 onward uh, we know that the unity and it reaches a new crescendo uh, this thing uh, labor movement uh, with the help of the home rule league and the ncm and the khilaf uh, and all those movements and also the punjab wrongs and right labor is moved everywhere because of all that right and uh, also in, in 1920 all india trade union congress is created and uh, the main leaders of which are lala lajpat rai ji and uh, diwan chaman lal is also a main leader over here diwan uh, chaman uh, lal he is also the main leader here and uh, not only this lala lajpat rai was first among uh, to uh, link you know capitalism with imperialism right and after punjab wrong and gandhi ji uh, as i told you know gandhi ji is arrested and working class also protest against that right and we know this thing that during this time only uh, the prince of wales came and had come to india to promote royalty uh, loyalty to the british empire prince of wales but he was also opposed by the laborers in fact 1 lakh 40000 laborers uh, 140000 laborers they went on strike and they attacked the europeans okay what was gandhian role in the labor movement see he formed we know this thing ahmedabad uh, textile labor association okay labor association gandhi was definitely involved with them we we talked about all the ahmedabad mill strike right and gandhi's gandhi's idea was of the trusteeship gandhi said that uh, the fact capitalist is the trustee of the workers interest his idea of the in capitalism is based, based on the concept of trusteeship the welfare of the labor has to be done by the capitalist and 1922 onwards after the ncm is withdrawn um, you know Uh, MC, uh, ncm is withdrawn what happens that there is again a lull period in the working class movement and the next wave of this comes only you know uh, at, at the end of the 1920s around 1930 only with the when there is influence rising influence of the left bloc okay when the rising influence of the communism and the and and, and the socialism okay that is how it rises so uh, here i would like to tell you now the difference between a uh, socialism and communism okay please listen carefully and i'll tell you you'll find it very attractive especially the policy of socialism see socialism and communism uh, they are the systems of production first of all okay they are the systems of production uh, for and what kind of production for use uh, for for use of course and based on public ownership public ownership of what of the means of production okay and uh, the, so public ownership of uh, means of uh, production plus centralized planning okay so you will find uh, a great hint of this uh, immediately after independence in india also right so centralized planning uh, actually you know whenever there is capitalism the theory is the uh, the result of the capitalism is the socialism out of co capitalism socialism has to come it is the first form of the new society right and and socialism the idea of having socialism is only to lead to communism we we go grow we support socialism ultimately to have communism so what do these two words mean you must have heard of the phrase that from e each according to his need to each uh, from each according to his ability to each according to his needs right so that is his uh, communism okay from each according to his ability to each according to his needs jiski jiski jaisi zarurat hai jaisi marzi qabiliyat ho lekin jisko jaisi zarurat hai we give it to them right Now, for example one of my teachers once told me that once when he went to russia uh, in russia uh, he told me that the scientist and and the and the laborer they would have the equal size of home right because the need is same it depends on the number of children you have right the various ideas were there now uh, what is happening in uh, socialism it is from each according to his ability that is fine ability is there here ability does not matter or the needs matter but here ability according to his deeds you know whatever how whatever the kind of deeds are there according to that he will be given okay so the socialist principle of this distribution is according to the deeds okay uh, that is for the quality do you, what do you mean by deed the quality and the quantity of the work that you are doing that, and this is obviously immediate thing the practical thing and on the other hand in this communism the principle of distribution is on the basis of needs right that it is the ultimate goal and this is not practically possible immediately because you will need lot of resources see there there are lot of people who, who have lot of needs and now different people have different ability and different people will perform now now you will lot of resources lot of means of production only then you can fulfill the needs of the people that is why communism remains a idealistic state right and we keep on uh, you know for developing socialism ultimately the aim is the communism okay 
right and then you know there oh, oh, this production can be done uh, according to fulfill the needs only when the change in the attitude of the people see why will i work i work for profit and but if i if i not working for profit if i'm fulfilling uh, your needs we, uh, i'm doing work for the for the interest of my nation right and to help all have equality more equality to full uh, that is only then this change of attitude in me is required only then communism is possible and this will take some time okay so please understand this is how the socialism is actually a step toward communism it is the first step right it is necessary transition stage from capitalism to communism socialism has to be there just because uh, some parties in the world uh, call them as a socialist party or somebody calls it a communist party it doesn't become communist or socialism just because of its words okay just because they have used the word they have to go through uh, social socialistic phase okay the communist parties even they have to uh, go they go also the, through this phase of socialism right so socialism it doesn't mean uh, in effect okay a uh, socialism it doesn't mean that i take all your private property for example i do not take away your clothes aapne jo kapde pehne ye thodi nahi bhi utar ke koi le jayega socialism doesn't mean that socialism means that simply you know Uh, you can have private property uh, only you know for example you can wear clothes you can have your own clothes you can have your own food that ways okay but you cannot use this private property for oppression okay for oppression or for exploitation this private property cannot be used this is the what the whole idea of that is socialism okay i i mean you know uh, i i mean i'll take your factory which produces the clothes because the factory should be used for the everyone uh, for not just for because you can afford them that you can buy those clothes but uh, but you know uh, uh, at the same time you know this private property uh, is allowed to certain extent only okay that means i take away your private property in the means of production from the few so that there is much more private property in the means of consumption for many that is the whole idea okay so i hope you know this concept difference between socialism and communism is clear and what had happened you know in, in our uh, this labor up, uh, this labor upsurge or the indian working class upsurge that Uh, after the 1920 second half okay and that is from 1925 to especially 30 period this period various these communism socialism these state these ideologies they started having impact on the nationalist movement that is why i just discussed these things with you now various communi communist group they organized themselves into uh, various parties for example they organized themselves to workers and peasants party okay workers and Pe peasants party this is what uh, they, uh, they were organized right and in fact one of the important leaders uh, of these worker and peasant parties were a lot of people like uh, there was s a dange he was an important communist leader right and p c joshi okay p c joshi and then there was a uh, sohan singh uh josh he was there and then muzaffar ahmed was there muzaffar ahmed uh, he was there okay sa dange pc joshi son singh josh right and muzaffar ahmed so, so lot of people these were involved right and communist influence was particularly strong after the year 1928 okay 1928 ke baad communist kafi strong raha in ka influence and they also uh, you know this all india trade union congress they also has boycotted this simon commission in 1927 and uh, government reaction was very worse it is always like worse against these people and they took two steps to because see because of communism and the communism and the militancy was also growing and Brit britishers thought this is not not fine so they take two steps number one is um, you know they enacted various laws uh, for example public safety act was brought which all the foreigners were thrown out right we we've done this thing right and then um, you know and in fact there was a uh, the, the, and all the main leaders were arrested right after this uh, under the merit conspiracy case i talked to you about this merit conspiracy case already right there was also a play on this called merit Uh, on the merit conspiracy case, uh, case was made right and and uh, in fact uh, a lot of people dange was arrested in this case only s a dange uh, s a dange was arrested in this case only i already discussed this merit conspiracy with you number 2 is they gave concession to a section of the movement okay and in fact the same thing you know british has always had this policy of stick and carrot and the stick over here was the this uh, public safety act and the uh, carrot over here is the uh, this thing concessions to certain people who were ready to support the british this, this is how they are able to divide the people 
now set back comes to the labor movement and you know how the, as as i just told you uh, because of the above two actions right and communist also uh, uh, they made a mistake you know they shifted their stance they changed their stance उन्होंने अपना पोजीशन अपनी बदलाव किया जैसे जैसे क्रिकेट में बैट्समैन का स्टैंस होता है ना प्लेइंग स्टैंस जस्ट टू एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू दे आल्सो चेंज द स्टैंस नाउ एग्रेसिव स्टैंस और यू नो डिफेंसिव स्टैंस दैट वेज तो दे स्टॉप वर्किंग विद इन द मेन स्ट्रीम बिकॉज उनकी बनती नहीं थी दे वर नॉट इन एब्सोलूट एग्रीमेंट द वे मेन स्ट्रीम वॉज वर्किंग सो दे सेपरेटेड दम बट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दे गॉट आइसोलेटेड एट दैट टाइम नाउ कम्युनिस्ट गॉट आइसोलेटेड विद इन ऑल इंडिया ट्रेड यूनियन कांग्रेस नंबर वन and this split happened actually finally also in 1931 between these people right but nevertheless you know movement kept on happening at certain places for example sholapur sholapur mein to shole hi aa gaye sholapur right martial law was declared it was the worst over here in fact this question has been asked in paper uh, regarding sholapur this just this much information and bombay in bombay the slogan have was that the worker and peasants are the hands and the feet of the congress okay this was the slogan that the workers are workers are hand and feet of congress that that one was much of the association of the workers with the congress party right and then finally you know in fact uh, that uh, uh, 20000 workers of the railway they went on strike they struck the work and when gandhi you know he breached the salt law of that you know civil disobedience movement right on april 6 uh, after dandi march uh, and you know uh, these workers they also launched the, 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 the similar form of satyagraha the salt satyagraha they also launched their satyagraha uh, following gandhi at that time right so uh, from 1931 to 36 we again see a dip in the uh, what is this thing called um, the uh, the working class movement okay and workers also do not take active part in the cdm of 1932 to 34 okay initially there is some uh, enthusiasm but later on from 1932 to 34 uh, they do not take active part in the civil disobedience movement actually great repression was going on worker was in a very poor condition right and the next week of the wave of the workers comes in the year 1937 to 1939 when there was provincial autonomy when congress wins and popular ministries are there right and communist also you know at this time so communist so they also uh, join the nationalistic politics in and they also rejoin the all india trade union congress in 1935 so that is how the revival is coming on right so communist and the congress socialist and the left nationalist all these people are led by jawaharlal nehru over here and sc bose subhash chandra bose and they form a powerful left uh, consolidation within the congress okay within the congress they form the the left consolidation and not only this uh, see uh, see all, both of these people they had great respect for nehru uh, for gandhi right jawaharlal nehru and sc bose uh, it was the bose who was the first person who called gandhi as bapu the father of the nation right not bob who used the word father of the nation that is how oh, to this day gandhi is called the father of the nation sc bose was the person who called gandhi uh, first first right as the father of the nation then nehru you know he of course he was a disciple of gandhi right although even though there were some differences it doesn't mean that he wasn't a student of him right and then from 1937 all the, the elections that are held right ait uc also support the congress in those elections so the congress manifesto also you know in these elections at that time the 1937 elections the congress manifest so it also declares that it would take steps for the settlement of the labor disputes okay steps for a labor disputes the congress that it is talking over here and effective measures for securing the rights to form a union right to form union uh, obviously this comes much later right and to right to go right to strike right to strike that is how it is going on okay now at this time the number of trade unions also uh, the 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 number of strikes also went after the 1937 okay number of strikes went and then world war 2 started and world war 2 started so working class of bombay it was the first to go on strike and 90000 people in bombay they went on strike and whereas you know when nazis uh, they broke their agreement with russia and nazis that is germany they they had agreement with russia that they will not attack russia but uh, but then you know nazis attack russia uh, uh, by breaching the agreement by you know uh, by gail dhoke se un par usne hamla kar diya nazi in russia pe and russia is a communist it's the base of the communist and all the communists in india they say the character of the war has changed from imperialist 
earlier the war was imperialist but now it is the people's war because there is attack on russia and earlier the the labor union the labor uh, the working class which was not supporting the uh, uh, war they said they also started supporting the allied power they started supporting british to uh, against the fascism to, to defeat uh, german fascism right and for this policy even many of the trade unions and many of the communists they disassociated themselves from the quit india movement of 1942 this can come as a question in your paper and then you know but then gandhi came and you know uh, gandhi was then arrested okay gandhi was arrested at this time and when gandhi was arrested uh, many of the people they uh, they came back to in support of the quit india movement at this time and this the, the after this you know it falls policy of, uh, of peace was there with the industry so that production and war have efforts are not hampered that kind of okay so so we have a p policy of peace okay peace with the industry and from 1945 to 47 there was a tremendous rise in the working class activity they were working very very uh, in extreme manner at this time for example uh, the bombay and uh, calcutta okay these two places bombay and calcutta the worker they said uh, the worker who were working a dock the dock worker they refused to load the ship are jo jo ye docks nahi hote yahan ships loading and loading karte hain wahan par wo keh rahe hain hum wahan kaam nahi karenge dock d o c k okay number 3 is over here uh, number 3 is that most prominent you know among them was the hartal by the uh, bombay workers uh, actually right in solidarity with the mutiny of the naval ratings we'll talk about this this has been favorite of the ups in last few years the mutiny of the naval rating uh, in 1946 Uh, this was also opposed by the worker class now workers to sum it up you know in g5 to sum the whole thing the workers they wanted freedom of course you know they also wanted freedom like you uh, other people right so workers they wanted freedom as much as others okay as much as others that is the crux of it and thus they were also struggling throughout with others so, so they also struggled that is the role of the working class in uh, in the nationalist movement of india okay now uh, in, in, this is the origin of the the, the beginning of the rather uh, understanding of the rise of communism and the socialism in india and actually these two concepts are so interrelated that i had to talk to you you know by connecting them right now in the next lecture uh, i'll be talking to you uh, about the emergence of the new forces okay uh, one emergence of new forces in 1920s emergence of new forces in 1920s one is the swaraj is we have done it other is the labor uh, or the working class we have done it and the what is this new force this new force is the revolutionary nationalism this is the revival of the re revolution nationalism the spread of the marxism and the socialist ideas in the trade union i'll gi just give you a very brief overview in the next lecture okay the next lecture will be again just a overview okay it i won't going to detail in that lecture and and in a lecture after that i will be talking to you about the bhagat singh and surya singh and all those terrorist movement and then finally we will go up to the Simon Commission, where the storm is building up. The Simon Commission is the storm uh, for the CDM. Okay, that is the storm before CDM, which ultimately, through which you know, we declare our indep our the day of our independence is the 26th January. Okay, do we get the independence on that day? No, of course not. So, what is the story? We'll talk in the next lecture, right? And now, I just have one important thing to ask you, a request. please share this video with others. Okay, if you like this, because if you share, let others also know. At least. that that is the price that i'm asking i'm not asking for money right i'm all all i'm asking you please share this video with other the more the word spread the better it is and second thing is please do click on the like button through that me and everyone else comes to know that this video is great or good or bad whatever it is okay and finally uh, if you want this video and all the future videos to come right into your email box then you will have to subscribe to us for that you will have to click over here right so that is all and thank you so much for watching this